Predictione, I bet everybody got into a freaking free for our riot to get their mitts on these primo tissue issues. Extra sensory future side, y'all. Whoa! Okay, that was all extremely uncomfortable, but now that it's over, let's see what else. For my next last wishes, I officially transfer ownership of the most sweetest ass business on Pandora to my most favorite sister. I'm talking about Ellie. Oh, Scooter. Well, hey there, cutie pie. What's this all about? Ellie, Scooter wants you to run the catch a ride. Oh, dang. I knew this day was coming. It was nice just to hear his voice coming out of those janky ass speakers, but I'll do it. Ellie? If you're listening to this, it means I've become a super ghost on that big racetrack in the sky. Hmm. Driving ghost cars around the sun and shit. Sorry, sis. I'm sure you're real sad and all, but you gotta keep them runners running for me, okay? Bye-bye, Scoop. And thank you. Well, guess we better record some new lines for the catch ride, huh? Scooter wanted you to do. And finally, when Spith I depart from this mortal plane, do me the honor of reverently laying down a totally righteous memorial in my name. Then do a sick ass booster jump over that thing. Wow! I've actually been working on a little something at his final rest and blaze slash impact crater. Why don't you meet me on out there and see what a whipped up? I'm 
I'm sure you done gone and passed out from dehydration on account of crying over me, but don't you worry. I'll live my life exactly the way I wanted to, even when, no, especially when folks told me not to. Rules is for fools. I made that up just now. I'm a genius. Death ain't holding back my brilliant mind. get all hot and bothered about finding more bolts out there, but me, I just want to see some... Yeah, I'm pretty Holy good. Holy crap, Sickles! That was amazing! Scooter would be so happy if he could have seen that righteous badassery! You did right by him. Thanks, B.H. I know Scooter wasn't exactly everyone's cup of tea, but he was a good man, and that's one hell of a rare thing on Pandora. It would have meant a lot to Scooter that you did all this. It did to me. Thank you, Vault Hunter. And for my finalist of final words, I just want to say thanks. I always wanted to be a Vault Hunter, but never really had the stuff for it. <clears throat> Y'all gave me a cause worth fighting for and made me feel our like family. And since we all family now, y'all gotta look out for my best girls, Ellie and Moxie, okay? And as for me, I gotta catch me a ride to heaven, y'all.
my hypothesis was correct. Hector is using your vault key to mass produce the gas. Soon he will have enough to blanket all of Pandora to create his paradise. But everyone on Pandora will die in the process. He's really got our test tools in a centrifuge. Oh, so you got that video I sent them. Waiting on the reply. What the hell do you think you're doing? Nah, it doesn't matter. I've already won. Here's how this ends. Me presiding over paradise, you twisting your mutated limbs into a knot and dying alone like a sad pretzel. Point, Hector. The completionist in me is like, yeah!
gathered enough mutant parts from a first experiment. Bring them on back to me when you get a chance, and we'll see if we can't cure one of these sorry bastards.
been a while since we fought Hyperion, but you got no flab, slab. Ah. More shrubs <gasps> coming at us. Let's mow them down. Show these pricks whose planet this is! 
Time to wreak vengeance on the Loaderbots that Hector hacked to murder most of my clan. There's more important things at stake, Bandit. We need that Moonshot Cannon to clear the way to Cassius. He's our only hope of curing Mordecai. Right, of course, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll give you a ton of cash if you also wreak my vengeance. Going through that old mine? <laughs> Better you than me. I'm making you my lead recruiter, and it's time to get a new crop of bandits in here. Let's try a new thing this time. My bandits gotta be strong, but also smart. Like with big old pecs, and also big old mind pecs. So let's hunt some badass sandworm queens. Interesting. There's a bioconfabulating spore translator built into the, uh, the RNA. Yeah, that, that sounds sciency. Let me see here. Sorry, bastard there, and see if you don't turn it back into a proper human. losing their minds about these plant monsters, but this is what we in the for-profit medical field call a chrysotunity. Aw, oh, shoot. All's well that ends with me still breathing. 
Besides, we're off to a great start. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Why don't we try that again? But this time with more science. We gotta get these sorry bastards a cure. You know the drill by now. But get me some tougher mutant parts this time. Maybe that'll help. I know Tannis is thinking that Cassius fella is the hottest little pipe to ever do science, but I think I'm a much better match. Hmm, maybe after I cure these sorry bastards, I can use what I learned to give her the plant monster army she's always dreamed of. Yeah. trophies to prove yourselves worthy.
Start the step. Yeah. Let's have some fun! Trusty Vault Hunter came through. Again. And nobody else did. Well, come on back here, champ. Thank you. 
beginning of something awesome.
cards for my purposes. Let's see if we can't cure them on Strasses and see if I can't find my way into Tannis's uh place. <laughs> Let's take another little whackaroni at this. Give this concoction a shot. <laughs> Get it? Shot? Never mind. Just do it. Quit while I'm ahead. And by that I mean while I've still got a head. Maybe I'm just not cut out for this. No, who was I kidding? Tannis ain't interested in a dummy like me. Maybe it's time I finally get the old medical license reinstated. Yes, hello? I must ask who has been discarding these utterly magnificent dead specimens? Oh, uh, well, that would be me. Hi there, Tannis. Time for you to mosey on out, Vault Hunter. I'll take it from here. <clears throat> Visit my vending machine if you... Yeah, yeah, go on.
that Hector dude is all sorts of trouble. Someone... <laughs> this does not seem to be working out. I mean, why can't all my recruits be as strong and impervious to fall damage as you are? I wonder what I'm doing wrong. Is it me? I think it's me. You know what? Give me some time to think this through.
Everyone stop for a second to think about Hector's plan. Dude hijacks her ship to spread a mutated spore seed whatever gas to make Pandora a paradise. I mean, it's pretty righteous. <laughs> Elevators, huh? Focus. Moonshot cannon. Get it working. Blow open the door to the mine. <clears throat> so, does anyone actually know how to use this thing? We've got to blow open that door. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold up. You go to fire the biggest cannon on the whole muckabuckin' planet, and you didn't call me? I am a friend. Tina, it's, it's a war zone between us and Helios. I'm not putting you in danger. Lily, girl, I hear you, but I'm your demolitions expert. And now the Vault Hunter is inside, and you can bamf me in to help out with the mission, and I want it so bad, please! It's probably my birthday! It takes a lot out of me to teleport anything besides myself. It's not as easy as... <laughs> please! I want to use a big space gun! It's all I've ever wanted! <sighs> Fine. Shot control room. I took my bandit out there with my right hand on a Hyperion account ledger and my left hand on a still beating Skag heart. Man, I could stress eat some Skag hearts right about now. Moonshot complete, Department. If we missed a moonshot, let's land you among the stars. How can I help today? Hi, yeah. Uh, I ordered a new IMP loader to shut down my collection of porcelain pickles. I just wanted to get them real small. Anyway, your stupid moonshot delivery leveled my whole freaking house! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Sorry? Those pickles were irreplaceable! Plus, you know, uh, my house. Now I have to crash at my buddy Connor's place while I wait for my insurance to sort through this whole mess! Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Was that Connor Daniels? Coordinates 33 by minus 93 in the Rust Commons? Uh, yeah? Why? Hey, what the- And lunch break! <laughs> Tina, I hope this was worth it. I'm just gonna rest here for a sec. You take care of the moonshot. Lily, and <gasps> Listen up, class in session. This is Ballistics 101, and I am Professor Boo. First lesson! Those regular moonshot shells ain't gonna do shit against big old metal doors. We need that good, good armor penetration. So while I start constructing the missile, your homework is to get the explosivos that are going inside. Class dismissed! You come up, I face, and you don't got bomb parts. You know I
and Swinkums. Tass was counterintelligence gathering on Flat Ops Ursa Corps. And in my very official opinion, holy shit, these people are badasses. A shock troop of Iron Bear mechs cleared out an entire continent of TDR troops on Sarkanus 3 in a matter of days. Days! Our guys wouldn't stand a chance against them if the corporate wars reignited. So in conclusion, the Ursa Corps is not screwing around. Okay, now... Power complete! All right, I'm bored. Different bit. Now you're a lovesick aristocrat who pines for the hand of Contessa Aorta Hartsworth. I shall play the part of the celestial imp, Cherubian. If my love arrows are to fly true, you must purloin two stabilizer fins. For when I shoot her. Black! is gonna be swooning over your badonk in no time. Med hypos!
What's your name, sexy? Good work, everyone. The way up to the lab is clear. Cash has better come through for us. Got a few things to take care of here. Head back to camp and check on Mordecai. Those vines are anchoring Sanctuary to Mount Scarab. If Cassius can make good on the antidote, that's our way up. I gotta say, even in the darkest times, Tina's enthusiasm is pretty inf- I found an old prototype of Angel's Chamber. We can't let that technology fall into the wrong hands. So I say we destroy it. to Angel's Chamber on Helios. Imagine what we could learn from it. I've already sent the Vault Hunter to destroy the chamber. <gasps> destroy it? First you deny me a plant monster army, and now this? No, I need the data from Jack's early experimentation on Angel for my Sirentology studies. And yes, that is a word I made up, but all words are made up, so. <laughs> you saw what happened to Angel, and to me. That information is too dangerous. We're going to destroy it, all of it. Keep going, Vault Hunter. <laughs> the chamber should be just down there. Sirens, the more we know about yourself. 
We still don't understand where these powers come from or how they may manifest in the future. Who of all people should see the value of that information? We're not the first ones to find this place. Vault Hunter, clear out those soldiers. memories. Even after Jack... after he tortured me, I can't imagine what Angel must have gone through. A caged bird her whole life. She could have been so much more. Mm, so much data to analyze! Oh, delicious! Now, you may carry on with your smashing. Let's tear this place down. Good riddance. activity detected. Executing Fallen Angel Failsafe Protocol. Ah, I will work to resolve the issue. Stay no! on. Vault Hunter, you've got bots coming your way. Let's have some fun! <laughs>
Right. Moonshot worked, Mordecai. And you're looking real bad. That is to say, his condition is quite advanced, but not incurable. I need you to bring me a blood sample, or as we say in the scientific community, that good red stuff. Uh-uh, you ain't getting none of Morty's blood. Back up! I'm a black belt master of Karate! Tina, easy. <coughs> and it's definitely pronounced karate. You lucky this time, punk. Was about to karate your ass. In half! <coughs> oh, man. I don't feel so great in my stamen. You have the sample? Excellent. Make your way to me and we will complete the antidote together.
really come a long way, haven't we, Minion? And you're still just as loyal as ever. Who's a good Minion? You are. Yes, you are. Don't you worry, Minion. I had a great idea. Since Hector started a war, I'm thinking we try our hand at a bit of war profiteering. First, I need you to take these very special chain blocks to the doll mine. Hector and his people are totally screwing up the Pandoran economy. So let's remake that economy in my image. The chain of blocks is the basis of my new economic model. Just go with me on this. In part 13 of my genius double cross plan, I'll offer Hector all my intel on the Crips and Raiders in exchange for a ton of cash and the rank of Vice Admiral. Once aboard Sanctuary, I'll murder every new Pandora soldier, but instead of killing Hector, I'll make him my Vice Admiral, and then I'll rename his army. Which I'll use to cross all the names off my enemies list. <laughs> In time, Hector will start to trust me. Then one day, he'll tell me I'm the son he never had. And as he leans in to hug me, I'll be the son of the jungle, single handedly winning the war, saving the car, and finally earning me the adoration I so clearly deserve. My plan is flawless. Stepping foot in that mine is my red line, Raider. Want to do now? Don't cross it. Don't cross it. Don't cross it.
Bastards are also made up. We're rich! We're filthy freaking rich!
you in your time of need. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, your mercifulness! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Sure. As atonement for my hurtful actions, I now offer you, um, seven quintillion Beckle wafers! Okay. Are we done here? No, thank you! And I thought bandits were bad before they had nightmares. Well, Minion, we soared amongst the wealth gods themselves, but alas, your insatiable greed took us too close to the sun. Yes, sirree. This whole place would completely fall apart. Watch it, Nipto! 